Hello YouTube and welcome back again to part 11 of the tutorial series how to make meshes inside the engine and apply them into your game. So last part we made this crossover as a blueprint and the lines were not lining up so what I already did was make pre-make the mesh we need to fix that. So what you're gonna do is copy our road from part one all together remove these three white lines take our crossover pad we made in part 10 place that onto the mesh onto the brush uh, select it all again begin with the pivot Create another static mesh, and I went ahead and already did that, so I end up with this. And now we are gonna apply this to the road. So oh what I did there was uh, delete the normal mesh. I already uh, removed it from the blueprint. So if you still have to do that, open the traffic lights or the crossover blueprint and remove the, actually it was the root of the blueprint, but it doesn't matter. If you just delete the crossover pad that's here, one of the traffic light takes over as the root and you can adjust them so, because they will skip size back and that's good, but you need to adjust them and scale them up so they fix on the both sides of the road again and after that you can just simply put in the crossover pad as a spline mesh should end up with this white stripes in the middle are gone I don't have any collisions so I will have to fix that I will do that right away and again like we discussed in one of the parts not all of it needs to cast shadow cast a shadow so this can all go out those lines need to cast a shadow and the walls so those on, those on, and the rest can all go off. With that, and now the collision. And again, of course, the mapping of the UV channel. I'm gonna do that all real quick, discuss it in another tutorial, so another part. walk on the roads the wall is solid still can walk through the traffic lights so to do fix that you have to open the traffic lights itself everything can cast a shadow over here well the light maybe doesn't need to but it doesn't matter and the lighting channel Maybe we need to change it, but for now I'm gonna leave it as it is. Again, if you make these props with uh, 3D Max or Blender, you can adjust the collision and it all takes a lot of less memory in the end, but 
for normal scaled video game or even a big video game but it, it depends on how complicated you create this and uh, how much needs to be causing a collision so in this case a part these parts can cause a collision it doesn't really matter but if you got a real big world you don't need to have the shadows cast it uh, everywhere and have a collision a complex collision on everything so it saves up a lot of memory if you don't but here we are the street lights are solid and everything works so I'm gonna round this video up wrap it up as part 11 and uh, see you guys next time